Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Um, it's a beautiful day, and today we've got some more products from Cromlech. I seem to be in a bit of a Cromlech mood at the moment. Um, I've been buying quite a bit of stuff from them. Well, a couple of things. But yeah, so today we've got the Orc Pilot torsos and the Orc Pilot heads. Now, these I'm going to be using for my Orc Biker Squad which I've just bought. So I've got six bikers which I'm going to be putting these in. Uh, but eventually I'll do like a 12-man squad. So I've got plenty of heads here for that. So without further ado, let's um, get one open. Let's go from the torsos first. Really nice and easy to open. Just have to undo the staple. Okay, now when I when I opened these in the first place, this was actually still attached. Um, but then, being me, I dropped it because I'm rather clumsy. Um, but right, okay, let's have a look at these. If I can focus in. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, you've got the zippers. Great bit of all detail there. Fur collar. The jackets look great. That one's coming open. The zip there. I mean, these are very clunky zips, but the detail is brilliant. And then the one with the zip fully open. I think that's like a knuckle duster as well there. Oh, I see the dog tags. Just some extra brilliant detail, and on the back, oh, we've got a pocket there. Just got some heads, some iconography, which is really nice. Just to add a bit of extra, a bit of extra character to your squad. So the torso set comes with two of the same sprues. This one and here. So you get six bodies. Yeah, it might be a little bit pricey for some of the stuff, but it is really good quality. Really nice resin this is, and this doesn't actually need much, what, if any, washing off, because it feels like there's no residue left. So, they look nice. That's all for the heads. Okay, so in the headset you get you get ten heads. Very very funny some of these. And as you can see that one's got like a a microphone. Oh, look at the detail. That's fantastic. All the stitching. Little scope on his eye. Teeth are brilliant. See how they've got that detail. Okay, so as you can see, you've got the speakers and the ears. And on the back, you've got even more detail. Oh, fantastic ears are. The only thing I would say is it would have been good to have one with the visor down, with the little, um, yeah, wind windshield thing. So. I'm really pleased with how these look. They don't need much cleaning up at all. But um, I'll get on and make and put some of these on uh, on one of my bikers and come back and show you what it is. What it's like. Oh, I'm just seeing. That's a bit thin there, but that shouldn't be a problem. A bit of green stuff. Okay, brilliant. Hey there. Well, um, I've just put some of the bodies on. I noticed actually that. Um, I'm going to be using the heads on my Storm Boys if I get any more because um, they don't really, well, they're more piloty anyway. Um, but as far as the head sizes go, I will say some of the heads seem a little bit big for normal old boys. So, but I think they might still work on um, on 
storm boys because they, they're a lot bulkier. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, so if you've got these heads, um, see the regular to that's holding it side by side. Let's just focus in on that. So as you can see they're a little bit bigger. I mean some of them work, this one works. And that that one I think I might have used. But I've I've put the bodies on. Well some of them. On some of my war bikers. Which I've I just love the glyphs on the back, I think the detail is brilliant. Um, let's take this dude off. I'm not gonna I'm gonna paint them off before. So yeah, great detail, the zips look brilliant. Need to do a bit of filling in there. But as far as it goes, I'm really pleased with these. I did a bit of conversion work on this dude. I've always wanted to do one like this and it all got me flying off. Um, did a bit of green stuff work on his arm. I couldn't find an arm that fitted that so I just sculpted one. And that's got like a, a bandage around his elbow. I'll just love using green stuff. Uh, but like I say this guy can come off as well. I'll put some tread on his boots. But let's take this dude off. So yeah, I've got him so he's looking and whether, trying to see where he's going um, whilst losing control. <laughs> got the pipe on there, but just how, how these work, it's brilliant. I put a bit of green stuff in, um, but these heads and bodies are fantastic detail. It's got like a knuckle duster there. I just love the dog tags, just great detail. So, um, yeah, I might be showing a bit more use of these on some of my later projects, but great, great product, and, well, not quite as detailed as the Mega Armor Knobs, um, uh, Juggernauts, but, but very, very, very nice indeed, um, lots of character, just really funny some of these heads are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a nice squad of these war bikers, so I'm going to maybe extend out some of the um, sleeves to make them look like they've got leathers on. I think that'll be interesting, and use some of the GW bodies as well, like this one. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's good when you're doing bikers is to detail the base, like as if it, the treads being there. But <clears throat> if you'd like a how-to to do that, I mean it's quite simple. But just just let us know in the comments. Um, I'm going to be getting some knob wall bikers, and these are some bases that I picked up. Um, these are just because I don't fancy using them on the small bases. I think they look just like the the normal, normal orcs and I want them to look different so they are just some I picked up um, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this review and found it interesting and helpful um, if you've got any questions just comment below and I'll try and get back to you um, if you've got any suggestions or anything you'd like to probably have a look at I mean I'm going to be buying some more Cromlec stuff soon so yeah, I'm always on a lookout. So if you fancy, and I'll see what I can do. Alright, guys, cheers and catch you later. Take care.